and welcome to Blister's Driver Training YouTube channel. Today, we're going to show you how you check your lights on your caravan or on your trailer. This video has been made as part of the UK Trailer Safety Week, brought to you by the National Trailer Towing Association. So why do we need to check our lights? Well, when you've got a trailer or a caravan coupled to your car, you need to be sure that the rear of that trailer or caravan is illuminated to warn and notify other road users of your intentions. So when we check our lights, we want to check them simultaneously. We want to know that all those bulbs will work if we need them to. So let's imagine we are driving at night in fog. We are slowing down using the brake with a right indicator on. We want to know 100% that all those bulbs will work when we need them to. So we're now going to show you how you do it. We're also going to show you a few little tips if you're on your own. So just before we get started, I just want to let you know that we are using a vehicle with a manual transmission and our caravan has 13 pin electrics. But I will come to electrics and the difference between 7 and 13 in a little while. Let's get started. So when we're checking our lights, as I said, we need to check them simultaneously. So I will be turning the vehicle's ignition on without starting the engine. I'm then going to turn on the lights, the rear fog, press the brake, put the vehicle into reverse, then check my right indicator, followed by my left, and then I'm going to finish with my hazard lights. So I've asked Andy to go to the back of the caravan for me, and we're now going to check the lights. Okay, side lights. Working. Fog lights. Working. Brake lights. Working. Reverse. Working. Indicate right. Working. Indicate left. Working. Hazards. Working. So that's the lights all checked. Having completed all the other safety checks we need to do, we're now safe to go on our journey. Just before we go, I did promise you that I would show you how you can check your lights on your own. So what I've done is I've turned everything on that I can with a manual car. So that is the headlights, the rear fog. I've been able to put the vehicle into reverse and in a second I'll put on the indicators. But how do I check my brake? Ta-da! Using the steady winder on the caravan. You just wedge it into place and then you are able to go and check the lights at the back of the caravan. So I'm just going to pop an indicator on. Let's go and see. All good. So now I need to check the left. We've got the left and then I cancel out the indicators and I swap that for the hazards. It's great for your steps this. Everything's working and don't forget to check the number plate lights as well. So that is how you check your lights when you're on your own. So let's take a second to talk about electrics. On a caravan or a trailer, you will either find a 13 pin or a seven pin plug. They do exactly as they say on the tin. 
a 13 pin plug will operate all the road legal lights, it will operate the reverse light, it will charge the battery whilst you're on the move and it will operate the fridge. On a seven pin black plug, it will just operate the road legal lights. That means you won't have a reverse light. On an older caravan, you may find you get a gray plug as well. If that's the case, the gray plug will operate the battery, it will charge the battery and it will operate the fridge whilst you're going along and it may operate, if it's been wired, the reverse light as well. On the car, if you have the same socket to match your plug, it's nice and easy. It's just plug it in on the sevens, black plug to black socket and gray plug to gray socket, nice and simple. The fun comes if you've got a different plug and a different socket. There are various adapters on the market. If you're only dealing with a single plug, be it 13 or seven, you can use one of these individual adapters. If you are using two plugs, two seven pin plugs on the caravan, but a 13 on your car, then I would recommend this snub nose adapter. I call it a snub nose adapter because what this will do is it will reduce any trailing cables that you might experience by using an adapter on your car or caravan. It's not difficult if your car and caravan electrics don't match. Our beautiful caravan here is not new and when we got her, she had seven pin electrics on her. But I have had a caravan engineer upgrade the electrics to 13 so they now match my car. I hope that helps with regards to the electrics. I would advise that you speak to either a tow bar fitter or a caravan or trailer engineer if you're not sure and you need any adaptations made. A couple of things for you to consider. We recommend traveling with a spare bulb kit. We also recommend that you travel with a spare breakaway cable. We're gonna be doing a separate video on breakaway cables, so stay tuned for that. We hope you found the video today of use to you. If you'd like to see more of what we do and some of our other videos, please don't forget to click subscribe. You can also click the bell so you get reminders of when a new video is published. And if you liked the video today, please give us a like. See you next time.